look, a lot call Nigel Hemer our Vice President. He's going to run through uh, our apparel requirements and expectations for 2022 um, and clarify anything you might still be a little bit confused about. So if you've got any issues, Nigel will take the call. Thank you, Nigel. Thanks, Mike. Hello all and good morning. For those that are new to the club, welcome to the Hawks. It's great to, to have you here. And for those that are returning, welcome back. And I also see old Hawkies that have come back to the club as well. So welcome back to you as well. So it's great to have you here. Um, so I'm one of the blue shirts that Sharon mentioned before that stood out like a sore thumb, I think. And then at the back, there's another one there, Mr. Lee Sawyer, who's on the committee as well. So anyone else that wants to put their hand up to help out, we're more than welcome. Please come and have a chat. Um, as far as the apparel uh, for this year, so there's going to be some slight changes um, as far as what we're doing, as far as the equipment is concerned. So nothing for those people that are familiar with, you know, how we turn up to, to training. We're going to have a, you know, there's your kit bag and then it, you've, oh, this is all to do with Mark stuff. So this is 15 minutes before and preparing before and all that type of stuff. So this is sort of how you turn up and what equipment you, you turn up before. So um, the big key with this stuff is, is no bare feet, right? So please don't turn up in slides, turn up into your running shoes, um, go into your change rooms, as Mark mentioned, and then get changed there. And we talked about, you know, 15 minutes before training or before your game, your coaches will let you know how much before that you have there. But you do have a, you do have a, a, a uniform that you're expected to wear as well. So in the, in the, um, more in the NPL space, um, you're going to probably have duffel bags, but if you come through the system from the SAP, uh, you may have a backpack. But these are some of the things that you could then find in your bag. So look, everything's pretty obvious there, shin guards especially, tapes and, and track jackets and things like that for cold weather. But the big one is the towel. Um, you know, if it's wet after training or if it's wet after the game, you don't want to be jumping in your parents' car and then volunteering to clear it, clean it that weekend, which you probably don't even need to volunteer. I'd imagine you kids would just do it out of love, right? Like my kid, all over it. Um, as far as the, the uniform design, whilst this design is, is one from two seasons ago, but for those that are familiar, with this season's, it's exactly the same. So we're, we're staying with the whole, you know, the red, you know, the primary red jersey with the black shorts and the black socks. Um, a, a lot of the decisions we're making this year are about trying to reduce cost and reduce waste as well. So what we'll be doing that's different to previous years is that we're going to be supplying the jersey. So whereas before you would get a jersey and you'd keep a jersey at the end of the year, what we're doing this year is that we will lend you the jersey and at the end of the year we'll get it back again. And, and that's because we believe that we'll be able to keep those jerseys for multiple years um, for others and therefore reducing the waste of things that go home, they get thrown out, etc. So from a gear perspective, if you've already got other gear like your polos and bits and pieces that you don't you don't need to go and um, you're not going to get a kit with all of the new gear again anything that you're missing you buy um, otherwise you just keep running with with what you actually have the away kit is similar right same as this year so the gray gray and the red right so it all makes sense from there and then our goalkeepers are the same again so although we're we're sort of making some tweaks to it but in general it's going to look exactly the same as what we had last year so um, so that's from that perspective so so when you talk about um, game day when you turn up so from the training perspective of course you know Mark's talked before you have your, your training jersey and you turn up with black shorts black socks on train on game day the polos the red polos you then have your you also uh, turn up with your black shorts um, ideally some form of you know different sock or white socks that you have and then your, your runners you then you'll have your Hawks bag so it's all about looking professional and looking consistent when we turn up then we'll also the other one is your training jersey which will be used as a, a warm-up so you'll go from into the change rooms you'll put your training jersey on you'll do your warm-up um, and then you'll get your your match jersey that will be provided to you by the manager you'll give it back at the end and and then you put your polo back in and, and you go from there, all right? So uh, in winter, we, we also, of course, have your track jackets and, and track pants. So again, it's all about looking in Hawks branded gear. Um, and for those that want to get uh, spray jackets, they're optional as well. So we have those through there. Um, just uh, on the training stuff, 
Um, so again, it's, it's more about turning up in, you know, you've got your training jersey, uh, your shorts, black shorts and red socks are, are typically the way that we go. And then you have your, 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 um, your track suits for, for winter um, from that perspective. Oops, I'll go back from there. Just go back. So, so just uh, before I flick on to, or Mark, I'll hand it back to Mark. But are there any, are there any questions? I know it's a different system than what some people are used to from previous years. So again, the big difference is where your your uniform. There's your, the fees that you pay. We will provide you with the playing jerseys, and we'll lend those to you, and we'll get them back at the end of the year. Any other gear that you have, you can reuse, or anything that's missing, you need to purchase. So that's pretty much it. But does anyone have any questions on anything to do with uniforms, apparel? Um, for anyone that's placed an order, I, one sec, Wayne. Anyone that's placed an order for new gear, we are processing that. We have ordered gear, so if you haven't received it already, we hope to have it in January, and then you'll be able to, uh, and then we'll we'll hand it out when we get it. So, Wayne. I'm just wondering, with the uh, ordering, yep. can you order all year round, or is, or is there a set time limit? Uh, no, you can. I mean, the uniform stuff, so what we're doing at the moment with the orders, it's more about us trying to know what we need to order so that when you need stuff, it's there for you. A lot of this stuff has very long lead times. So, but that's, there's nothing stopping you in February, March, April, whatever, and saying, I need to buy this, I need to buy that. Typically, if it's um, what we call stock gear. So stock gear is not custom Hawks gear. So things like your polos, it's a standard red polo with an embroidered logo. They're very easy. Short socks are just easy because they're sort of more off the rack, but custom stuff. So we talk sublimated, custom, comes out of China, long lead times. That is uh, training jerseys and the gray shorts from that point and our playing jerseys as well. So, so the more notice we have, then we can accommodate that stuff. But any other, just, just the general stuff, track suits and whatever, you can just grab it as you go. That said, um, we've just re-signed with Kappa for another three year term. So we will have excess stock that we'll carry over into future years as well. Yeah? Any other, yes? Um, regarding the, the training components of the shorts, uh -huh. the shorts and socks, do goalkeepers require those people? Yeah, well the goalkeepers, Required, yeah, from the, the actual training jerseys, yes. Um, ideally, look, they can wear, I've seen, you know, goalkeepers could, because they, they typically will have more of the, call it the purple and the orange shorts. Um, ideally, probably get some black shorts, just any black shorts, just so, you know, because the, even from a staining perspective and stuff like this, it probably protects them a little bit, but, um, but that's, but from a training jersey perspective, yes, but goalkeepers tend to wear slightly different things, but training jersey, everyone should wear those. Yep. Any other questions or anything? No? Um, the only other, the only one other thing that, uh, that you will see, so, when we talk about football and what we're developing better players and that type of thing, one of the other campaigns that we ran very successfully this year was our Small Steps for Hannah campaign. And I see a couple of shirts in the room, which is fantastic. So um, we will be running that again next year. So that'll be another, uh, we start next week on our planning session for that. So anyone that would uh, like that was happy to get involved or would like to get involved, we would welcome that in any way, shape or form because it was extremely successful and for those who don't know, Small Steps Fan is about raising awareness and uh, raising awareness and funds for uh, domestic violence and how to how to um, protect against coercive control and those type of things. So, and, and the parents, Sue and Lloyd Clark, were actually Queensland's uh, nominated Australians of the Year who will be going up on Australia Day for the Australian of the Year as well. So they're exceptional people and we're very fortunate to be connected with them for this campaign as well. So just watch this space a little bit for that campaign that will come out more in the new year. Um, and we're doing it over the Mother's Day weekend as well. So for, again, for those people new to the club that aren't familiar, you'll be, a lot of the teams tend to get uh, pink jerseys and we play everything's about pink on the day. So it's all about you know, raising that domestic violence awareness as well. So for anyone, as I said, anyone that wants to get involved and help, um, please come forward because we like that as well. So, Okay, excellent. Thank you for your time and appreciate it. Over to you, Mark. Thanks, Mark.